All right guys, so I'm in the Dodge Ram and I had originally planned for this video to include my rear bumper that I still off at paint, replacing that and wrapping the roof on the Ram. Well, I went over to my friend Ish Window Tint and we did the roof wrap and another friend of mine stopped by, my friend Drew, you guys might know him as Drew50, and we started having a great time, you know. And for those of you who are kind of new to the channel, Ish has been a good friend of mine, he's been, become a brother of mine, and he's also been a really good mentor. So when I do end up going to Ish's, I do make my videos and I take my photos, but I also like to enjoy my time with him because he is in the next city over down San Antonio, and I'm up closer to Austin. So when I do go see him, you know, I like to hang out. My friend Drew, uh, you know, longtime Army friend, and anytime I see my friends like this that I don't get to see quite often, I like to sort of uh, live in the moment a little bit. So the roof wrap did happen, uh, but the rear bumper didn't happen. So that's why I'm kind of doing this intro video because it starts off at ish window tint, but my original video included the uh, rear bumper, the window tint, and then installing the rear bumper, but it's just taking longer than expected. And the tint video came out way longer than expected too. So it sort of became like, it was gonna be like a 45 minute long video. So I, despite, I decided to just split it up into two separate videos for now. So enjoy this clip at ish window tint, and then I'll show you a walk around of the truck. So you're gonna get a uh, what is it? A gloss black roof wrap. Yep, gloss black. Gloss black. You got gloss black spoiler. Yep. GT500 wheels. So yeah, it's gonna look good, man. You're excited? Very. Hopefully they clean the carpet and see how yeah. dirty it is. <laughs> this thing's filthy, man. <laughs> you brought it up in here looking a mess. <laughs> yeah. So. So we're gonna get this thing wrapped up. Did they already clean the roof? I'm gonna help them with that real quick, and then uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, guys, as you know, when I finish modding or doing something new to the truck, I bring it to my local church, bless up these mods. So I'm actually standing on a table right now so I can be tall enough so you guys can see the, uh, the new roof wrap. Now it's very subtle, it's nothing crazy, but it gives the truck uh, a, a different look. You know, I want to tie in a little more black with the roof. The side steps have a little black, the spoiler, the Daytona decals, the front grills right here, the headlights are kind of smoked out, um, and those side mirrors. So I think it'll look, I, don't know, I apologize if there's wind noise. I think it'll look a lot better too with a set of black wheels, but for now, um, just a roof wrap alone gave it just a little bit of a different look. Walk around to the back. 
I always like how the roof kind of wraps down towards the back window like that. So then from the back, it just looks kind of cool as well. Again, just a salt, small, subtle touch. And yeah, I parked the handicap so I can stand on that table over there. But yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Very subtle, clean look. You know my boy Ish, he did me up right. But that's how the truck's looking right now. Pretty simple, pretty clean. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna get that little dent in the door fixed next. Decals and get this rear uh, tailgate resprayed along with the rear bumper coming in. So all this will be nice and clean. That will be nice and clean. And uh, yeah. All right guys, there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Got the roof wrapped. Uh, truck's looking a lot nicer on the outside. And you know, I appreciate everybody giving me all the positive compliments and all the positive energy telling me, man, the build's coming out great. And I really appreciate that, but there's like, there's a lot more to come, a lot bigger stuff because I feel like just now the truck is looking like pretty stock. You know, this is pretty much how you're supposed to buy it. Uh, so I had to do a lot of legwork, as you guys know, getting the spoiler, fixing the tail lights, changing the headlights, the fog lights, getting the side steps, getting the side steps painted. Uh, one big thing that's been great is that the interior is pretty much mint, so there's nothing I really need to address in here. And it's just been uh, some other smaller stuff, um, you know, under the hood, like an EGR valves and spark plugs. So these things take time, especially when the challenge is kind of like, you know, the main baby, and this is sort of like, you know, the side chick. Uh, it's not the main build, but it's my daily driver. So I feel like just now we're like, okay, we're getting to a solid point where now we can make some serious changes for it to look good. I just wanted to address all the small little things that add up you know the decals are ugly it adds up it was missing the spoiler the rear bumper was dented i got that dent in the door the grills were chrome just a bunch of little things that they're just little but as they add up they kind of make the overall thing look kind of ugly so i've been addressing all the small things first before we get into the big things and yes i'm still waiting on my rear flip kit i ordered it back in july and we're almost in november it's practically november so they switched to Summit Racing, uh, did a drop ship directly from DJM, and they still said it was four to six weeks out. So once I get that in, I'm gonna lower this bad boy. Uh, so next smaller things I'm gonna do, um, I got a little bit of a header tick, so I'm thinking of throwing some long tubes in there, um, replacing the water pump, doing the power stop uh, brake rotors and pads, uh, getting some airbag helper bags for towing before I lower it, and then lowering it. And I think that'll be a, a solid point for this. So this is probably gonna be one of the last, second to last videos before I start jumping back on the Challenger content. So keep an eye out for that. And again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. If you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Till next time guys, peace out.